fighting against Cuba in the round seven match. There it is right there. I'm going to open these bets just for you guys out there watching Imba TV. These are the only bets that have been open all day, so I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. Go to that page. The bets have the link has been clicked. The bets will be starting. And once we get the invite, the bets will be over, however, and there will be no more uh no more YouTube requests. Let's see how this uh let's see if this loads here. We had hardly any YouTube requests today. That's right. And I'm just uh, getting some lag from the server here. Do you remember when Cuba was up to that final attack? Were his Zerglings at plus one or plus two? They're at plus one. Oh, okay. On the attack. Cool. And I think the adrenal gland, like that speed, it doesn't speed it up, it up as much as it did in StarCraft 1. I think it, it doubled the attack speed in StarCraft 1, and I think in StarCraft 2 it only increases it by something like 40%, 40% or so. Okay, I see. So it's not as powerful an upgrade, but it still does. The, you know, it still is a good upgrade to get, as we saw in that game. That's right. And let me know when you get the invite for that. I'm just going to go ahead and play some music, guys. No more, uh, no more requests at the time. We are getting ready to get into the grid rounds, and it will be back-to-back -back action from there. Some people going all in on Thorazane. Don't forget to join us tonight, guys. I mean, not tonight. Don't forget to join us on Sunday for the King of the Month. I know we've been talking about it a lot, but, man, it is, it is going to be epic. $500 on the line, hosted by SC Streams and Bits Per Beat, the Craft Cup King of the Month tournament. It's going to be fantastic. So you guys better join us here at Imbalance TV for that. That's going to well, kick rear Listen, rear. listen the, uh, I have it from highly placed, uh, really reliable sources that Prince Charles will be there. He's been waiting for 40 years, and he wants to find out who the king's going to be on Sunday. Makes sense. We will see who the first king of the king of the month will be. King of, King of the Month is in, it's not tomorrow, it is on Sunday, as you see. There's one day, 18 hours, and 58 minutes left until it starts. So, guys. And if anybody, all, you know, it's, yeah, go it's ahead. All, it's all Craft Cup main event winners from January. In January, there were four Craft Cup main event winners, and they are the guys facing each other on Sunday. That's right. So uh, Cuba is the underdog here. It'll be interesting to see if he actually takes a win. Every king needs a Zerg queen. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there are no Zergs actually in the tournament. True. For the king of the month. It's, it's mainly Protoss. So I'm hoping it's going to be uh, quite awesome. Well, I hope Straylock wins in the first round. That's what I hope. Yeah. I don't mind one Protoss mirror, but I don't want to see three. For sure. And you want to join in on me? I uh, will do that. Here we go. We're in the game. We're ready to bring it to you here at Imbalance TV, where everything is Imba. And Thorazane will be right back, back. So at this point, we started off with 740 players. We're down. There's only nine guys left. And you're looking at two of them right here, Cuba and Thorazane. 
Now, I don't know much about the Prey team, but I know that Ricky Tan is on this team as well. That's why we're calling him Thorazine. Isn't that right, uh, MC Dust? Yes. That is correct. I know we can't share the replay. If, if either of the players chooses to put the replay on the uh, website, though, uh, you'll be happy to download it. You can easily download it yourself. I, I very well may put it on um, SC2 replays. So, why don't you well, actually? Why don't you put it on the Craft Cup site itself? That That's sounds probably good. the most polite thing to do. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be on Delmaga Caverns, and let's just, you know what, if we have enough, I don't know if we have enough time, I'm going to, let's go through who's left. All right. Size, Six Jack Energy, no clue who that is, Hansi, never heard of him, Wizard Zetan, uh, we've seen him before, uh, Goody, former Craft Cup winner, Nurchio, former Craft Cup main event winner, Control, and those are the seven players left, and then after that, we've got Cuba and Thorzane, and that's it for today's event. And I'm going to go ahead and freeze these bets, guys. If you guys have not bet, then uh, please do so. Because those bets are now being frozen. I think we're ready to go. Torre is your father, Jim. Don't deny him. And yes, it will be on Zelnaga Caverns. And you guys can join us at Imba TV on StarCraft 2. You can also join us in the American version, um, or in the North America version, as, uh, you know, in the same channel. We've also uh, come to imbalance.tv. You can uh, see the Twitter, Facebook, and uh, form spring links, and you guys can follow us there as well. Uh, we would like to get some people subscribing to our Facebook and our Twitter and everything like that. We've got some games to be giving away. I've got a BlizzCon 2010 get, er, card that will give you this portrait that I've got right here um, giving, be, being given away too. So join the Facebook. More will be announced later. Here we go. All right, everybody, welcome to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got Cuba facing off Thorzane, and this is going to be a best of one match. This is the last round seven of the EU Craft Cup number 29, brought to you by uh, me, MC Dust, and Jim Rayner, as well as Torre working behind the scenes. Why don't you go ahead and take it away for us, Jim? All right, so we're on everybody's favorite old familiar map that no one ever eliminates. Zelnaga Caverns. That's right. And there's nine players left in today's Craft Cup. And at the end of this game, there's only going to be eight left. And once that happens, every other round will be a best of three rather than a best of one. And the finals will be a best of five. Now, Thorzane is starting off in a standard fashion by putting a supply depot at the top of his uh, ramp, beginning the process of walling off his main base. Cuba, on the other hand, really doesn't have a major decision to make at this point. He is moving his overlords out. Uh, fortunately, we can see Cuba's not six, six pooling, which uh, is nice to see. And interesting formation of where Thorzane elects to place his barracks, slightly offset. And this is way when the barracks has an add-on placed on it, and then a supply depot is also added, then a, w a complete wall off will occur. Correct. And Cuba's overlord going right through the middle of the uh, map. I think, we're gonna sure. you think we're going to see the same thing we saw last time with the Ultralisks and the Cracklings? Well, that uh, you know what, though? A little different pattern here. Cuba this time is not expanding early. He's getting gas early and getting a spawning pool after the extractor. So we're seeing a different build order from Cuba already. 
So you know what? When I see a really good player like Cuba do all kinds of different things to start off a game, I quickly become a fan of that player. Definitely. Now we're seeing we're seeing a tech lab being added onto the barracks for Thorzane. So be interesting to see. And Thorzane is scouting with the SUV. This scout's pretty late. The scout came after the um, after the barracks was built. And notice we're seeing a Reaper coming out of the. Yep. Do and some scouting, also, yeah. And notice no SCVs on gas any longer. So that reapers that the refinery only had one purpose. Now speed zergling research just started. A queen is being produced, and even though the speed zerg research has been uh, has been researched, notice that Cuba keeps his drones on the on the uh, gas line and also builds a second extractor. So this is a good clue, clue that Cuba wants to spend a lot of money on gas. Could be roaches, could be banalings. We'll have to, you'll have to stay tuned to Imbalance TV, along with the millions of other fans, and find out what's going on. That's right. And here we go. This Reaper is going to take some damage. Take out one of those lings, sitting at 40 health right now. Let's see if that Reaper will be able to do anything. There is a queen up here, and it, that Reaper has been found out about, so I don't think it's going to be able to do too much. If anything, oh. it's going to be able to jump up on this oh. cliff and get oh. some uh, reconnaissance information. Tries to fly away, and it looks like he's uh, going to jump down the oh, cliff. Nice and, uh, yeah. Uh, but still, the, it looks like the Reaper will live. It is faster than these Zerglings at this point. The Zergling speed research is just completing now. Let's see if the Zerglings come back. up. Yep, there we go. And they take out the Reaper. Now, if we take a look in the Terran base, while all that, that went down, Thorzane built an expansion command center and a second and a third barracks and elected to start mining from the refinery. Now, the first infantry upgrade selected by Thorzane is going to be Stimpak. Cuba has already teched up to a lair. Boy, he loves... Oh, man, it. here comes the Spire yeah. and the expansion. This guy loves to tech. Man, know. that costs a lot of money for to throw down a spire and that expansion, man. He he uh, he loves uh, that lair, I'll tell you. That's right. And I like watching it. And so now, speed zergling will it die? Nice counter scout by Thorzane. Now I wonder if um, at this point, I wonder if Cuba suspects an expansion because he's seeing nothing. The entire base is walled off. And, and Thorzane has shown him no units at all. That's right, and three barracks are... Oh, uh, look at this. There's the Zergling right there to do the scout. There are three barracks on the field right now. Yep. All with or Two of them with reactors, one of them with the tech lab. The tech lab Good. upgrading a stim pack. And uh, here comes the transfer as well as that uh, nice expansion. So what is what is Cuba thinking right now? He's got the he's got the spire. He's gonna throw out some mutalisks and try to uh, try to run in there with a bunch of or fly in there with a bunch of mutalisks. But um, I don't know, man. There's a lot of marines out on the field, and with Stimpak, they're, pushing, they're gonna be deadly. And they're pushing forward. That's right. And is combat shield being researched? Not yet. So he's gonna have to just rely on Stimpak with no medevac support. This will be really fascinating to see how Thorzane micros these totally non-supported Marines. Lightning in a bottle right here is what he's trying to catch. Let's see if he can do it. And here come here come the Zerglings, and here come the Mutalists, Ouch. taking oh. out all of those Marines. Oh. Oh. Only losing one Muta. For the love of Boxer, how could you let that happen, Thorzane? For sure. <laughs> In any event, maybe he anticipated losing a lot of units because he has put up three bunkers, you know. Here, sorry, two bunkers well, and uh, the engineering bay. Anyways, no, here comes a bunch of zerglings and the mute and three mutalisks. And the mutalisks do a bit of scouting and back off. He's looking for an opening, basically, at this point. We're now nine minutes into the game. And one thing I will say, Thorzane has got 